The River Thames that flows through London is one of the most well-known waterways in the world. For thousands of years, it has witnessed the city grow along its banks. And every day when the tide goes out, the riverbed offers up some unique glimpses of the past. Holly Williams takes us for a trip along the shore. On the banks of the River Thames, scavengers are hunting for treasure, not for gold or anything of monetary value. Very nice, looks like a crown but as well. But broken shards of London's history. Oh, we found some pins. This is what Londoners call mudlarking, searching for coins, pottery and other ancient artefacts in the silt that's exposed when the tide goes out. Um, like, it's ancient and it could be very old and cool because it's from a long time ago. Yeah. This is a taster session for first timers. I think that's a 10p actually. Can you see the, the lions on it? Yes. Yeah. They'll need a permit from the London Port Authority if they want to take it up regularly. That's nice. So that is Tudor. Um, Christine Webb is their guide. So there we go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Lovely. Yes, very nice. I'm going to get to hold this. Yeah. She's How been mudlarking for 11 years. Her prize find, this coin from 1572. And on the other side, you've got the image of Elizabeth I. Wow. My aim, I would love although I don't know if it never happen, would be to get something that I found in a museum on display, um, ideally with my name next to it. Oh, look at this one. Mudlarks can't sell their finds, but they say their hobby is addictive and many have jaw-dropping collections. And it was made about 350 years ago. From Roman currency to medieval shoe buckles and stranger finds. They would also bake them into like a, a pudding or a dessert at Christmas time. The Thames snakes its way through the centre of London. For over 2,000 years, its murky waters have carried trading boats, warships and pleasure craft. The River Thames is the lifeblood of this ancient city. From Roman rule to Viking raids, from the carnage of the Black Death to Shakespeare's Globe Theatre. All of it happened here. The ships were coming in from all across the British Empire and there were times where people said you could get from one side of the river to the other just on boats. They were sort of so solidly packed in on the river. So the, Dr the Hannah river Stockton is a maritime historian who told us the original mudlarks were children, driven by poverty in the 1700s, looking for scraps they could sell. It was the kind of thing you would only do if you really, really had to. It was really dirty, dangerous work. These days, mudlarks are unashamed history nerds. People like Simon Bourne, with a big following on social media. Let's get some luck in the muck. Oh, wow, well, look at that. He took us mudlarking to one of his favourite spots in East London, a former garbage dump. All the sewage was washed out from the streets down... Down the, yeah, down the pipes, <laughs> down the gutters and ended up here. It, it was basically used as a rubbish pit. So we're dealing with hundreds, maybe thousands of years of sewage. Yeah, essentially that, yeah. Sewage and, uh, and rubbish that they didn't want. So this is a caudal cup. They Simon's discoveries include this cup minutes. from the 1600s, uh, an engraved tobacco tin from the 1700s. That looks like ordnance and an artillery shell from World War II. All of it preserved because the mud in the Thames has no oxygen, which would otherwise have destroyed them. Yeah, that's probably Victorian or thereabouts. And with the help of Simon's well-trained eye... Where? Just there. ..we made our own find. Oh, there! One penny from the reign of the current king's grandfather. There'll be a date on it as well. 1948. There you go. The first coin. It's pretty cool. Wow. So it's one penny. It's easy to see how mudlarks catch the bug. I would just love to be put back in time for just a day to see all the hustle and bustle, all the industry, all the people, all the characters that have obviously since gone. But they're still here in a way. We can still discover them just by finding the objects they left behind. I'm so excited about your coin. It's cool, isn't it? For CBS Saturday morning, Holly Williams, oh, London. You're welcome. His coin.
I, yeah, it's high. It's high. <laughs> nice that was discovery, so Holly. awesome. I know. I, although I would have to say, I need gloves to go more dark. <laughs> I couldn't go. Don't mess with the rubbish. Manicure. Yeah. yeah. Don't mess with the I like the ordinance. I mean, that was a yeah. significant piece of <laughs> yeah. action. There. His accent, also, I'm sorry, it sounded so cockney to me. I was thinking, all I want is a room somewhere. I was thinking My Fair Lady the whole time. I did not even hear it. Sorry. I don't think it was. It just was in my head that way. <laughs> really sorry. cool piece. Yeah. Fantastic.